What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday the 30th of June, I think. It isn't really. It's actually the day after. Um, we've actually been vlogging over here all day today, so tomorrow's vlog's going to be a good one. But we didn't vlog yesterday because of everything that went on with the isolation and stuff like that. And I had to come over here and Sarah had to watch him. It was just, it was a nightmare because we had to do PCR tests on him again. Vanellope's been an absolute nightmare. And then the school wanted us to do another PCR test. And we said, look, we, we can't put her through it again. We've just tested her. It's come back negative. We'll test her again over the weekend and make sure that she's fine. But five out of her class have tested positive, which is unbelievable. It's... It's just mental to think that. So I'm over it. That was Aurora. I'm over here now with Mason, Alpha, Aurora, Vanellope, and Sarah's down here. She's doing a, a sewing machine, getting it ready. But we've also got the big Mac over there, the iMac, the 27 inch iMac. The reason why we've got the big MacBook or the iMac updating and stuff like that is because this studio now that we're in, with the photography part of it, obviously we've got the lights here, all the rig. We're going to completely um, recover the whole of the infinity floor so it's getting ron seal floor paint all over it white it's like a matte white for it right the way across we're going to fill in some of the it's you know it's just wear and tear of people walking on it all the time so it's got some cracks and some of the the old plasters lifted a little bit so we're going to come in and plaster it all and then we're going to reseal it again with the ron seal because we are going to be renting this space out for people to come and do photography for the, for the day we'll have like set fees per hour for people to do it and um, obviously you've got the editing suite over there, you've got tea and coffee facilities, there's a microwave, there's an oven, there's everything in there, so it's fully kitted out for people that want to, you know, edit. And it's got all the, you know, the background, it's really quiet in here as well, so it's fantastic for anybody that wants to come in and do it. We've, we've signed up to a couple of websites where you can advertise your services. Um, obviously I'm gonna be cleaning up my side of the, um, the unit, but, it's not out of mind at the minute for us to be putting a door there eventually. We'll see, or maybe a bit a bit more over there, but that's more in the future, but for now. So yeah, for now it's perfect for um, just people coming in and, and, and doing like photography, and then they want to edit in the corner, they want to make tea and coffee and stuff like that. There's couches, there's TVs, there's video games to keep people occupied and people bringing kids in. It just It's just more revenue coming in to the business while we're not using it, or Sarah's not using this part of it. It's just perfect to me. So you're gonna see more of this tomorrow, but Sarah is currently Get trying to work out how she does the sewing machine. Not, I can, I know how to do the rest of it, but I just cannot. So you've got to get this bobbin to go under and basically do a stitch underneath so you both your pieces of um, cotton it together. But it's a stressful like trying to get it because you've got to get it and pull it through like that so they're both together. But anyway, we'll get there, we'll get there, won't we? Yeah, it's just, I think once you know how to do it, it's, you know how to do it, don't you? It's like me with the printers. Yeah, no, no two machines are the same, are they? But both like, once you've done it once, you know how to do it, don't you? Yeah. But I'd rather take time and remember. I know how to do this part now, like straight off. It's just getting this part and learning to get it to do the stitch. Because you've basically got to, I don't know if I've got to keep that on so I don't move. Oh, just quickly, so I also forgot there's also a makeup table here as well, so you could do your makeup and everything. There's ring lights, there's everything in it, it's fully kitted out. But if you wanted to come over here and you wanted to do a full photography session and you didn't have your own studio, it's perfect, isn't it, babe? Yeah. No, nothing more perfect than putting in my pocket. I know. <laughs> So yeah, as I just said in the other part of the studio, it's just been mayhem the last 24 hours because this is the first time that the kids have had to, to isolate the younger ones. Obviously, there's PCR tests and stuff like that. Alfie's not so bad, but Penelope, as soon as you go near her nose, because she had the cleft palate, she's got like a, a really, really sensitive nose after the operation that she had. It's really difficult for us to get it right at the back of her nose on both nostrils as well because she has got a little bit of a kink in her nose and uh, not a lot of people notice it i think if you tell people then they do notice it a bit and then obviously in the summer when it's like now and she does get a tan she gets like a little line here where the scar was but it doesn't change who Penelope is but it, for the PCR test it's very very difficult and it's not nice on her at all so yeah i'm about to go and get the kids in a minute before i end today's vlog Right in there, you can see the printers printing. I'm doing an Indiana Jones. It's the fertility statue from 
I can't remember which one it's from, but I will show it you when it's finished. It'll be done in about a day and a half. So it's the gold statue. It's the full size one. It's one one scale. It's um, a screen accu accurate replica. I've also almost finished the fax machine. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, it's Starkiller Props. If you go over there, you will see that last night I put this up. This is the fax machine from Back to the Future 2. Now we've ordered lights for the end of it there. The lights will work and it will spit out a piece of paper that says, you're fired, just like in the film. So there is lots going on over here at the studio, as you know, but we will be over here now probably every day together or every other day and then obviously on Fridays and Tuesdays when Aurora is in school and then these are back in school before the holidays we will be over here doing an absolute ton of stuff I mean obviously I have to sort this room out because people will be walking through here to go into there and it's just these two shelves here everything else is fine I mean the arcades look amazing I put my Florida State license plate up there I've I'm going to get the Back to the Future ones and the Smokey and the Bandit ones and the Ghostbusters ones eventually so they'll go on there. But the arcade machines look fantastic. Um, the wall art in here and everything else is great. Uh, just We've just got to clear it up because it just looks like an absolute shite hole at the minute. But hopefully we will get there with that. But on that bombshell, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we can tell you for today's vlog. Not really, it's just been a bit of a nightmare as I've said again with the PCR tests these things happen and these things are set to try us. Can I also say as well that we have had an influx of subscribers um, over the past, it must be the past month and a half, two months and we have, the comments are now back on, the comments section is on fire at the minute. So if you want to interact with us um, and don't go on any of the socials then definitely leave us a comment below. Sarah or myself always try and get back to every single one of the comments that's put on there. Um, obviously we stated yesterday, if you send any nasty negative comments, chances are they're not going to get through. If you amuse me then they'll probably get through but remember this, I'm the one that can always leave the last comment and then I can delete all your other comments. So you kind of look like a goon if you do that. But that's up to you. If you want to, um, you know, bang words with me, then try and amuse me as best as you can. But I don't think it's going to work and it definitely won't work on Sarah. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day. <laughs>